UConn's rise to the top in women's college basketball started back in 1995 when they beat Tennessee twice in one season. Gamecocks would like to be a national power just like the Huskies and in order for Don Staley's team to achieve their goal of an undefeated season, it goes through UConn. Fortunately, didn't go through Stores Connecticut tonight. 18,000 strong, first ever sellout for the women's team. Had a little bit to cheer about earlier. There's Asia Wilson going up and under. It's 4-2. to two. Second quarter, things got out of hand. Brianna Stewart left Gamecock fans stewing. She had 25 and 13. Meanwhile, Asia Wilson left the game. She would return, but the Gamecocks would miss her. 66-54, UConn prevails. For more, let's go back to Cola Town and check in with News 2's Brandon Baylor. It was tough sledding for the Lady Gamecocks as they took their first sale, now 22-1 and to number one UConn Huskies. In the first quarter, they jumped out on the Gamecocks, shooting 50% and causing seven turnovers, hurting the Gamecocks early. Well, they, they, they pushed us out, you know, a lot farther, you know, from scoring areas, um, and they just, it was just disruption. I mean, one thing about them is they take away your first option. I think that's our first option. Uh, I mean, everyone knows that. We try to get it inside the paint, but they just denied it. Uh, they really kind of took it away from us, but we found ways to get it in there, and once we got in there, we were successful, but it was a, we, uh, the guards did have kind of a tough time, and post also just showing our numbers. They're going to they're gonna not sleep as much tonight because we lost. They do put pressure on your offense to have to keep up with them, um, and when you don't take the you know, the right type of shot. You take ill-advised shots, they make you pay. Uh, I'm still the sponge that I have last year. I feel like my teammates are sponges as well, and we're just going to get in the practice gym and just go at it. Now the Gamecocks will have two days to fix all the corks after this game as they're coming back Thursday night to face the Florida Gators right here on this floor. Here at Columbia, Brandon Baylor, News 2 Sports.